guys, welcome back to Cool Movie Ratings, and today I am doing another review. I haven't uploaded a video since January 1st when Cobra Kai Season 3 came out. Um, I watched this probably two months ago for the first time, and I had high expectations for this movie because I know um, it's up there with Halloween and people's favorite horror movie lists, and... Um, when I watched it, it exceeded my expectations, and I wanted to just let you guys know, this is a, um, spoiler alert, because I will be talking about who Ghostface is, and I, if you haven't seen the movie, I don't want to spoil it for you, so click off of this if you haven't seen the original Scream. So, um, the first thing I want to mention about Scream is the amazing acting from the people who were involved in this movie. And a person that I have to really talk about, and I think it, because I have, um, I like the Scooby-Doo movies, well, I used to when I was littler, and, um, Shaggy, <laughs> Matthew Lillard, is, ends up being one of the killers, and he drives his performance into the red zone, like, if you know, if you've seen the final few acts of the movie, you know what I'm talking about, and, um, including him, and a lot of other people did a very good job uh, acting in this movie. And Nev Campbell did a really good job on acting like it was actually like a killer. I know um, most horror movies do that. But a couple of movies, like, the, the people don't see, seem that scared. But um, amazing acting from everybody who was on the side of it. And the uh, next thing I'm going to talk about is the ghost face killers so i already said that um sue matthew lillard was one and billy um neb campbell's boyfriend in the movie ends up being the killer and it's obvious it's honestly a twist that i kind of guessed you can ask my dad i was like i think it's them but um still it was a huge surprise and wes craven's writing i actually watched a video um called Who Killed Who, and it was by, um, I don't know, but I'll link them down below, but I really like their videos, and I'll link them down below, but he goes into, uh, oh, Zach Cherry is his name, so I'll leave, um, that video down below if you wanted to check it out, but, um, Wes Craven, he has the kill, he has the killers, hold, like, the way they hold their knives, it shows which, Killer is killing who, and I think that is just amazing directing from Wes Craven. And I'd like to point out I have never seen any of the Nightmare on Elm Street movies. I know that's that was the movie like he really started with with horror, but like twelve years before Scream, and so I definitely want to check that one out. But back to Scream. Um, Scream. Um, the gore kind of kicks up from other movies like. Halloween doesn't have much gore because I actually um, like that about Halloween. But Scream doesn't drive it like into the red zone, red zone. But like, um, there's a couple really gory parts, and um, it doesn't seem like it's over gore, but it it seems kind of realistic. Like sometimes in these horror movies, somebody gets stabbed and they're not really even bleeding, or sometimes they don't even get stabbed and they're bleeding for some reason. But another th um another thing i would like to mention is the opening sequence with drew barrymore my sister is a huge adam sandler and drew barrymore fan like 50 first dates and the wedding singer and she's not seen this movie yet cause she's only um almost 10 and so I, when i saw that i was like oh when she sees this movie she'll she'll freak <laughs> but the first scene with drew barrymore um is probably the best performance in this movie actually they all do an amazing job but i would have to say that um sorry drew barrymore does an amazing job as casey becker and you can kind of see her descend into like being scared because at first she's just like um she thinks it's the wrong call but then when they keep calling and um you can see her getting more and more terrified and that usually doesn't really horror movies don't really show that well some do but like um it's always good when a horror movie does that but then um um her kill um is probably 
the most iconic of the movie when she sprung up from a tree. And I was just like, oh God, when I saw it for the first time. But still amazing performance by Drew Barrymore. Um, she definitely did. She definitely did the best performance in this movie. Another thing I would like to mention is um, characters that you root for. Like, there's a couple characters that are goofy, but that gives them personality. And my personal favorite character, besides, like, Sidney Prescott, um, would have to be Randy. Because I kind of relate to him the most, because I'm a movie buff, and he is too. And I watched Scream 2 a week ago, and I was actually... Um, spoilers for Scream 2. I was actually super sad when they killed Randy off. Because I really wanted to see him in Scream 3 and 4. Which I have not seen. But, um, Sidney Prescott has a lot, a lot of good character as, like, um, she has a lot of good character traits. And you really want her to win. Like, you should want the main characters to, like, survive in horror movies. And probably the last thing I'm going to talk about for this video is I never heard this word before until I watched a couple of videos about this movie, meta. So it means like, um, it's self-aware. And I actually really thought that was funny because, um, they, they give like, they, they name like stereotypical horror movie tropes. Like Sydney Prescott says, um, I'm pretty sure she says on her phone, like when Ghostface is on the phone, she says, um, it's ridiculous because some big breasted lady should be running out the door, but she's running up the stairs, um, instead of walking out the door, I just said that, sorry, but, um, and then it's funny because then the same thing happens to her, and I, I was just, I thought that was funny, and then, um, being self-aware, it knows of other horror movies, and I can give a lot of examples for this one. Like, in the beginning, of the beginning of the movie with Casey Becker, um, Ghostface says, what's your favorite scary movie? Probably the most iconic, one of the most iconic things from this movie. And he starts drilling her on quit, um, uh, questions for horror movies, and it's like, who is the killer on Halloween? And I'm like, Michael Myers. And she answers that one right, but then he says, who is the killer in Friday the 13th? And she says, Jason. And I was like, oh no, because I even know um, Jason is not the killer in the first one. Mrs. Voorhees is the killer in the first one. But also, in the end scene, the death of Stu, Sidney Prescott throws a TV on his head while Halloween is playing. And it's just funny to watch. And probably another one of the most iconic shots of the movie Randy is going over the rules of a horror movie, and it's like, you can never drink, you can never have two drugs, um, you can never say I'll be right back, and he paused the horror, he paused, they were all watching Halloween, he paused it, and he said that, I was just like, oh, this movie's really funny, and something I actually realized that would not make sense is in Halloween H2O, Halloween 20 years later, um, people on the TV are watching Scream 2 in it. But if they watched, if the first one also existed on TV, they would have seen Halloween 1 on the TV, and then, yeah, which just wouldn't have made sense, which I thought, I thought about, I was like, ooh, that doesn't make sense. But Scream is an incredibly amazing movie. It's probably my fourth favorite horror movie of all time when I think about it. That's still really good, and... I would give Scream a solid 9 out of 10 because of its amazing gore, its amazing acting, and its amazing storytelling, and its amazing ghost reveal, ghost face reveal. And thank you guys so much for watching this review. I'm planning to make more reviews on movies, so thank you guys so much for watching another cool movie ratings review. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more from me, hit that like button and subscribe button down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and bye guys.